Hello Hammerheads, thanks for tuning in. If you remember a few hours ago, my last video, when I was saying how insane and how steeped in hypocrisy and double standards the far left are, well, <laughs> this, what I'm about to tell you, is as bizarre as it gets. I mean, a lot of you probably already know about it. The NHS Trust has been landed with a new policy, right? Hmm. <clears throat> From now on, all men under 60 years old who visit the hospital for an X-ray or an MR scan have to be asked if they are pregnant. I'm not bullshitting you. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, I can't even find words. I mean, what's happening here? I mean, as you know, last year I was in hospital. I smashed me foot the fucking smithereens, didn't I? But um, I'm glad I escaped that one because if some you know, consultant asked me a question like that, I would move heaven and earth to make sure that person who was responsible for that person asking me such a stupid question would never work again. I'd try me damnedest, you know? Because that's damaging, it's dangerous, it's upsetting, it's unsettling, it's confusing. I mean, what about these, you know, you, you could get a bloke going in there, you know, you, you might think he's got cancer and he's going to die soon or something, you know, going in for an x-ray, you know, and they get asked, he gets asked if he's pregnant, you know, he, he's already in turmoil, what's that going to do to his head? Men cannot get pregnant. They never will get pregnant because it's scientifically and biologically impossible. Who came up with this ridiculous policy? I mean, seriously, whose idea was it? I mean, it wasn't that long ago when a, a man on a woman's ward, because this man identified as a woman so they put him on a woman's ward put all these women in danger you see that's what's happening now because these trans activists he raped a woman on the hospital ward but the hospital denied it happened because there was no men on the women's ward but yes there was there was a man on that ward pretending to be a woman and he actually he raped a woman I don't know what the outcome was. That's what's happening in the NHS now. If they can tell you blatant lies like that, that there was no man on the woman's ward when they put him there in the first place, what else are they going to lie to you about? That's not just a little white lie as well. You know, a woman got raped. And now this. Asking men under 60 if they're pregnant because it could interfere with the scan and the x-ray and whatnot, you know what I mean? I mean, it's not really new, because about 18 months ago, I think, last year, or the year before, it was on Alex Belfield's Sunday night phone-in show. Some distraught mother rang him, right? Like the kids at, at the school where her son attended, we're going for like, you know, mandatory jabs, not COVID jabs. Um, you know what you get when you're at school, your polio and all that stuff, and something like that anyway. Not only were all the twelve-year-old pupils, girls, asked if they were pregnant, but they also asked all the twelve-year-old boys if they were pregnant. This is what the the nurse asked them, 
parents were going off their fucking heads and I'm not surprised. If my, if I had kids and my 12 year old son come home from school and told me that the nurse asked him if he was pregnant before she administered the injection, I would hit the fucking roof. Absolutely, this, this parent did. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I mean, that's even worse than asking men if they're pregnant. Twelve-year-old girls can't even... Well, it's rare that they get pregnant. A twelve-year-old boy! How the fuck can a twelve-year-old boy get pregnant? How can any male get pregnant? It's impossible. This is what I'm talking about, the far left. It's obviously come from the left, this. This is how insane they are. You know, it's fantasy. It's not reality. I mean, it's like the Labour Party. They're in hot water again. Not just for telling blatant lies and scaremongering like they always do, like the BBC, you know, bastards, bollocks and cunts. Um, but you know, Keir Starmer, he couldn't define what a woman was. And another lady from bench, you know, a, a woman, I can't remember her name. They wouldn't, they, she says, oh, I'm not going down that rabbit hole. It's a simple question. Define what a woman is. Is an adult female? Simple as. What are they, fri what are they afraid of? You know, Keir Starmer was was asked recently as well, can a woman have a penis? Couldn't answer it. He could not answer that simple, basic question, which is, no. Of course women don't have penises. Of course men don't get pregnant. Of course 12 year old boys can't get pregnant. Hey, this is just tip of the iceberg, this. I mean, if it's as bizarre as it is now, what's it going to be like in a few years' time? Well, they're going to ask you next. Yeah. You know, just when I thought I'd heard it all, you know, from the left, you know, I thought I would never be surprised or shocked anymore, but... That was wrong. And, you know, I reckon there's going to be a lot more surprises and shocks in store as well. I mean, this is the road they're on, is it? You know, this is the direction they're going. To, you know, here's normality. Here's the middle of the road. And somewhere over there's the fucking asylum. That's where we're all heading. <laughs> And my fear is we're going to end up there a lot sooner than we fucking want.